Hey guys, my name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. Today I want to talk about heart rate zones because a lot of the fitness trackers that are coming out now can pair with Bluetooth chest straps or they may even have an optical heart rate sensor on the back of the device similar to my Apple Watch that tracks your heart rate. As these devices track your heart rate, what does all of that mean for you as somebody who's looking at the heart rate data that these devices are collecting? So when we look at heart rate data, it's important to differentiate between resting heart rate and active heart rate. Resting heart rate is your heart rate that you have when you first wake up in the morning before you've even climbed out of bed. And obviously your active heart rate is what your heart rate is when you're doing activities or whenever you don't have a resting heart rate. Now your resting heart rate is important because it is an overall indicator of general cardio health. So if your resting heart rate is a little too high, you may want to start doing more aerobic exercises. In general, 70 beats per minute or less is considered average or good. Now your active heart rate is going to vary. There are what they call heart rate zones. Depending on the activity and your general fitness level, your heart will beat at a certain rate. Now in order for you to be able to determine which heart rate zone you are in, you will first need to know what your maximum heart rate is. And you can come up with a rough estimate by taking 220 minus your age. Now keep in mind this is a very rough estimate, but 220 minus your age will give you a rough idea of what your maximum heart rate is. So for example, if you are 30 years old, your maximum heart rate would be about 190 beats per minute. Now please don't crucify me here, this is a rough estimate, just a quick and easy way for you to estimate what it could be. So once you have an idea of what your maximum heart rate is, you can now determine if you are, for example, in zone one, which is a very light heart rate. This would be walking or hiking or just moving around, not in any sort of strenuous capacity. Now this is assuming you're about average cardio health. If you tend to be a little bit unhealthy, then your heart rate might be a little bit higher. The next zone is about 60% of your maximum heart rate, and this is what I would call the warm-up zone. So this would be your heart rate at a casual or very moderate jogging pace. At this many beats per minute, you should still easily be able to carry on a conversation with someone you might be working out with. Now this next zone, you're about 70% of your maximum heart rate, and in this zone, you have maximized your aerobic benefit. You've also maximized, at this point, your fat loss or fat burning benefit. This would likely be your target zone for cycling, running, and swimming. The next zone is 80% of your maximum heart rate. And this is going to be a zone that you probably aren't going to be able to hang out in for a long period of time before you get to complete exhaustion. So this will be your heart rate when you're running up that steep hill or running at a fast pace, when you're doing box jumps, or when you're doing burpees. At this point, you can only get out a few words without gasping. Now, this last zone is the danger zone unless you are a trained athlete or have been doing some sort of cardio health for a while. This is the maximum zone, 90 to 100% of your maximum heart rate. You know when you've seen runners in the Olympics get to the end of a sprint or race and they fall down on the track to catch their breath? That's maximum heart rate. These exercises are fast and furious. They leave you gasping for breath and unable to talk. So as you train and desire to hit target heart rate zones, sometimes it's hard to know what heart rate zone you're in unless you have some sort of fitness tracker or heart rate monitor that can give you instant feedback in the moment of exercise. And when you're not working out, when you're sleeping, when you're waking up first thing in the morning and you want to know what your resting heart rate is, that's where again these fitness trackers can come in handy providing you with feedback about your biometrics that could tell you signs of something that's wrong or let you know that hey you're doing the right things keep on doing what you're doing. Hey guys my name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.